Hello students, welcome back to 8th session on Treasury Management. We know that we have already solved two problems on preparation of cash budget. Today we are concentrating on third problem on preparation of cash budget. Let's look at this problem. The transaction of a small scale industrial unit for the month of August 2019 are as given below means they had given us information relating to transaction of an industrial unit for the month August 2019. It is for the month August 2019. What information we have? We have information of cash sales which is 8,29,800, credit sales 16,90,000, 50% of which is realized in the same month means in August itself, 25% in the next month means September and remaining 25% two months after. So means October. So for remaining 25% you are getting it two months after. Cash purchases rupees 4,23,500 will be realized in the same month. Credit purchases 2,60,000, 10% is payable in the same month, 40% in the next month. Same month means August, 40% in the next month means September and remaining 50% two months after means it is in September, October. So wages rupees 2,20,000, these are weekly wages, 3 fourth of the wages is paid in the same month that is in August, 1 fourth in the next month means September. Salary of rupees 1,60,000 payable in first week of next month means September. Power bill of rupees 76,000 payable in the next month that is in September. Closing balance of cash is expected to be 3,60,000. This is all about um, details or transaction relating to August 2019. Try to understand, we came to know that we are collecting credit sales, some portion of August month's credit sales in September. We are paying uh, for credit purchases, particularly in September. Then one-fourth of wages we are paying in September. Salary we are paying in September. Power bill we are paying in September. Try to understand. So we have certain receipts and payment relating to September, but the transaction took place in August. We have information of September also. Further, the firm estimated the following figures for the month of September. What are all that? Cash sales. So, cash sales will be collected in September itself. Credit sales. So, they have not mentioned anything with regard how these credit sales will get collected. So, for that, we need to refer the information of August. 50% in the same month, 25% in next month and remaining 25% in very next month. So then cash purchases is given, will be collected in the September itself. Credit purchases, the information relating to how we will collect this, sorry, pay for this credit purchases. We have to refer for August month. Then wages, salary, sale of investment, sale of old machinery, purchase of new machinery. The payment is expected to be made in October, which is that purchase of, for the purchase of new machinery. Then power then investment in corporate uh, securities, so prepare cash budget for September. So we have information of August, we have information of September. Um, by understanding information relating to August, we came to know that certain receipts and certain payments of August will be received or paid particularly in September. We have information relating to September month also, but we do not have clear cut information with regard to when we will collect credit sales when we will pay for purchases, when we, how we will pay for wages, how we will pay for salaries. For that, we need to refer previous month information. Did you get my point? That's why we have previous month information. So now, let me start preparing cash budget for September. So first, we need to start with cash receipts, particularly the opening balance. So closing balance of August will become opening balance. It's clearly given closing balance of cash is expected to be 3,60,000. So I have recorded 3,60,000. Then what are all other receipts? Cash sales of the September will be collected in September itself, 8,80,000. Collection of credit sales. So see, up to August 50% will be realized in August itself. 25% of August credit sales will be realized in September. So that's why 16,90,000 into 25%. Stay to understand. So that will become, sorry, will be collected particularly in 
September. So what is 25% of 16,90,000? That will become 4,22,500. Then as far as September itself, try to understand how much will be collected in the same month? 50%. So 50% of 10,40,000 means 5,20,000. Remaining we will collect in October and November. That is not within the preview, uh, sorry, preview, uh, preview of sorry, purview of cash budget of which month September itself. That's why what we will collect in September is very important. 25% of August credit sales, 50% of September's credit sales will collect in September. That's why total will become 420, 4,22,500 and 5,20 means 9,42,500 we will collect from credit sales of August and September in September itself. So total of sales collection will become 18,22,500. Then sale of investment, it is clearly given. So no information with regard when it is collected, it will be collected in the same month. So 2,40,000. Sale of old machinery, 1,80,000. So purchase of new machinery, payment will be made for October. This will come, goes to payment, not in receipts. So anything else with regard to receipts to be checked. So there is no other receipts. So total receipts will become 26,2500. Now we'll move towards payment. So for payment for cash purchase. So cash purchases of September is 4,20,000. So I recorded 4,20,000 here. Then as far as credit purchase, we just go to uh, August month with regard to credit purchase. 10% 10 per 10 is payable in the same month, 40% in next month. So 40% of August sales will be, color, uh, sorry, August purchases will be paid in September. So 40% of August say, uh, uh, purchases will be paid in this month so 26 lakhs 40 percent means 10 lakh 40 thousand 10 percent of september's will be paid in the same month so 33 lakh sorry 3 lakh 30 thousand 10 percent will become 33 thousand is it 3 lakh 30 thousand yes so what is the purchases a credit purchases 2 lakh 60 thousand so i considered it as 26 lakh i feel It is 2,60,000. It is not 26 lakh. So I have considered it as 26 lakh. Make small changes with regard to amount, I think. Yes. No, no. 2,60,000 is 40% is 1,4,000. It is not 10,40,000. It is 1,4,000. I took 2,60 only. So then did you get my point? How we paid for credit purchases? 10% of September's 3,30,000 then 40% of uh, 2,60,000 that is 1,4,000 we paid, for, paid in the month of September. Then as far as wages is concerned, we should look at August month, how we paid wages. It is clearly given these are all weekly wages. 3 fourth of wages is paid in the same month and 1 fourth in the next month. So means Every week we are making the payment three fourth in the same month, but one fourth will be paid in the next month. So last month, months uh, that is uh, last month means August months three fourth that is two lakh twenty thousand three fourth will be paid in August itself, but one fourth will be paid in September. So that's why one fourth of September wages. Uh, sorry, August wages will be paid in September. One fourth of two lakh twenty means fifty five thousand. So as September, the same rule is applicable. Uh, three fourth will be paid in the same month. One fourth will be paid in next month. So three fourth of September will become one lakh seventy two thousand five hundred. So this is with regard to wages. Then salary. Here salary of September is given one lakh eighty thousand. We should refer how we will pay for salary particularly by looking at august month salary of rupees 1,60,000 payable in first week of next month so salary of august will be payable in september then salary of september will be payable in uh, now october did you get my point so that's why salary of august is paid in september 1,60,000 then power bill 
uh, what is there with regard to power bill uh, power bill of 76000 payable in next month august power bill will be payable in september so power bill of august 76000 there is no power bill particularly in september this is august uh, power bill then any other payment we need to concentrate purchase of new machinery is there in september but payment is october only then power bill of september is there 87000 so the rule for payment we we need to refer august month it will be payable in next month investment in corporate securities so it is given investment in corporate security we have they have not specified anything with regard to payment and we do not have reference even in august so we need to make payment during current month that is investment in corporate security payable in september that is what we assume 12 lakh so the total payments will become 22 lakh 20500 total receipts is 26 lakh 2500 total payments is 22 lakh 20500 so the cash surplus is 3 lakh 82000 did you get my point when we go for recording receipts of september and receipt payment and recording payment of september we need to refer august month how payment will be made in august month in the same way payment will be made in september how amount will be collected in august month means how we collected credit sales of august the same rule is applicable to collection of credit sale of september how we paid for wages how we paid for salary how we paid for power bill of august the same rule is applicable for september so this is all about this problem so if you want to prepare september month a cash budget you need to refer august month details with regard to how we paid for salary how we paid for wages how we paid for purchases how we collected cash sales all details of august month will be taken care of again certain portion of august month payment as well as receipts will be paid or and collected respectively even in september so that also creates impact on september month budget so this is all about third problem we will see remaining problem particularly next class till that take care thank you